Chase two. Let go. Yeah, yeah. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again, bringing a brand new haul to all my friends. Been to all types of stores like DT and many, many more. Bringing you all types of deals that only Shay Shay calls substitute. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2, and I'm back. Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2. And I'm back, all right now. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2, and I'm back. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. This is Shades 2. Yeah. I'm lit, y'all. I'm lit for show. All right now. Yeah, yeah. Shades 2. Hello guys, welcome to Shades Tube, and I'm back again this weekend guys to give you a brand new haul. I went to Dollar Tree guys, and I want to show you a few things that I ordered online, and went to Walmart to get some fingernail polish, and let's see, oh I went back to JCPenney's because I had to take the other purse back and it's changed it, because the one that I bought that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago, it had a little a toy in it, a tear in it, and I did not know it. And so when I decided to carry the purse, I saw it and I just switched, you know, I went back to JCPenney's and switched it out. And then I went back to Coach and got me some, well, not actually went to the store, but I ordered me some Coach um, perfume. Okay. So yeah, let's get ready to check out this haul that I'm doing. I hope you guys are having a great um, weekend. Happy, happy August. Happy birthday to all my August babies. And uh, let's get started with this haul. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off with Dollar Tree, guys. I picked up some of this different color safe bleach that I never have used before, and hopefully it works pretty good. It's in cotton linen, it's by Extra. I know about Extra um, detergent and it works okay. So I just, I, I figured that this would probably be okay as well. So yeah, got that at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I got some fall items I wanna show you from Dollar Tree as well, but let me just go through all the other little stuff from Dollar Tree. Well, you know, you may be seeing some fall stuff combined because I don't ever have this stuff in order. But let me go ahead and show you these earrings that I bought at Dollar Tree. These are super cute. They have some really cute earrings at Dollar Tree. They're very cheap, but they're really cute. You can wear them a bunch of times before they actually start breaking or whatever the case is. But yeah, these are really nice. So I picked those up. And I'm actually probably going to give some away, some of them away in my next giveaway. Okay, so some of the harvest stuff that I bought is this Bless Our Family pillow that you hang on your door. This is so adorable. And I'm not buying that many, uh, you know, seasonal things because I already have a bunch from last year. You know, and they're still brand new, basically. I just picked up a few things. Okay, and then I got some of these Delilah clip plants that you can use for flower arrangements or wherever you want to use those. I got that one, as you just saw that. Then I got this one right here. Super, super pretty. And I got one of these, okay. You got to get the stuff early at Dollar Tree because I'm telling you, if you don't, you will not get anything because it'll be all gone. There's another one of that one. And then I got another one of these big, gigantic, sunflower things okay go back so I'm so close to the cameras ridiculous okay so some non fall items that I got are these shower caps there are I think eight in here and I like to use these to condition my hair so I usually buy those I never use them for taking a shower I, I got an extra shower cap for that I bought my son some ring pops we give him a treat at the end of the week for doing all his work in summer school. I let him go to summer school the entire summer, so. Then I got some lens wipes. 12 are in here. I got two packs of these to refill my little box of lens wipes. I got, um, oh, this is from somewhere else. Let me not show this yet. I got my cat, a cat toy. He likes these. I mean, she likes these little mouse things. That's what that is, okay? 
I got some of these multi multi-purpose clips. There are two in here. And they do work pretty good from Dollar Tree. Some of the clips don't work good, but those right there do. I bought two more candles. This is a what is this? Marshmallow, marshmallow love, I think. So yeah, this is the mason jar type candles. And these do smell pretty good. You want to smell? Let's see. There you go. Smell it. Smells good. Gives off a good throw as well. So I got two of those. You know I got some of those karma um candles like that again. I always get those before they run out of those. Because those are really good. I got some bounce. There are 15 in here for a dollar. You can't beat that. I bought myself a knee support. I went to so many different Dollar Trees within my area and close to my area. So I got one of these. So when I start back riding my bike in another week, I won't mess up my knees. I got, I don't know why I bought these. I just thought they were super cute. They're stickers. I don't even know why I bought these guys. I may give these out in a giveaway if I don't use those. Then I got my daughter a notebook like this because she likes to do journal writing and stuff like that or writing her stuff for her acting, so she can use that for that. That's really cute. And I got myself a 2021-22 planner. It's actually a student planner, but I, I wanted this for myself because I think it's really cute. And I was like, I could really use this to write down everything. And it starts in August, so I will be using it soon. Okay. I got some more scotch tape, two for a dollar. You can't beat that. Best transparent tape there is. I got some more Plackers tw Twin Line Dental Floss. This is a new one at Dollar Tree. It has two of the things on there, so that may be pretty good. As long as I don't overdo it like I always do. I got some more of these things here, the finger protectors. I actually, I actually use these to um, apply lip gloss or um, Vaseline on my lips. Don't laugh, but I do because I don't want to be using my fingertip, especially in these times. I got some more glue docs. These work really good. Um, like if you got those little cushion things on your table, if you have children or little bitty kids and you don't want them to get hurt by the corners of the table, I put these on the little cushion things to make them um, stay secure more than what the actual stuff they have on it does. So yeah, they work pretty good. So I got another pack of those. Um... I got some storage bags to store stuff in so I can put it up. There are three large bags in here. And I got some more of these acrylic gems to put in my little um, container to make it look like ice cubes because I can find the different color silicone ice cubes at Dollar Tree. I got two of these shoe erasers, which works pretty good on tennis shoes, you know, to get them back white, to get the... The entire shoe looking pretty good. So I got like a couple of those. And that's that. Look, y'all. That's that Dollar Tree bag right there. Let me show you the rest of the stuff. You got to throw it because I'll show the same things over again. So I have to throw everything over there. I got me some more antiseptic mouth rinse by Swan. I, get, I don't know. I guess they are not um, selling the Assure brand. But this is pretty good too. So I get this. Okay. What else? Oh, I got, I finally found some witch hazel at Dollar Tree. And this was made here in the USA, so I picked this up. And um, this is my first time using it, so yeah, I just want to see how well it works. Okay, and that's a uh, five fluid ounce. Okay. And I picked up some more of this Angel of Mine Fresh and Clean Baby Scent Deodorizing Spray. And I like this because it's not too strong. And I just like spraying it, you know, just a little in my um, place at nighttime when, when everybody go to sleep and then early in the morning the same way. So I got like two of those. And then I don't know if I showed you guys this last time, but just in case I didn't, I got this at Dollar Tree. Super cute. It's heavy. It does not feel like it came from Dollar Tree. And they have these in different colors as well. Okay. And I got me a pair of these trouser socks, two in the pack. I love buying these from Dollar Tree. They're so thin, I can wear them in my shoes, and it feels really good, okay? And those are in black. Throw oh, those over there, because I'll show them again. I got a massager, too, guys. This thing right here worked a wonder. It really did. It really works wonders, because um, 
my thighs were hurting because I did an exercise uh, the wrong way and I hurt my thighs and I actually used this and it made them feel better and I'm, I'm, I'm I'm out, I can't even talk today. I am almost healed completely by using this and stretching a little bit and things like that. That's this is a good thing to use, especially on your thighs, on your back. This really feels good, guys. If you see this at your Dollar Tree, pick it up. Okay? Let me throw that away. I want to break that. Uh, what else did I get? Excuse any bloopers. Okay, so some more harvest things I got is this right here. This is a what, an acorn or something. So I picked up two of these to put on my table and see if they come in gold as well in other colors. Okay. I picked up a cute little pumpkin with the eight on it. Signature. They have all types of, um, you know, signature pumpkins. Then I got this one right here, which says thankful. This, these are super cute. I think these are new. I have never seen these at Dollar Tree before. This actually looks like something that comes from Home Goods or the Home Store or um, Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. It's really nice. So I just picked up one. I should have picked up two. If I see another one, I'll probably get another one. Then I picked up another one of these right here. I got two of these. Okay. So I picked up some pillows because they have some adorable pillows out. I got pink for my bedroom. I got two of these. I'm just throwing it back over there. Those are super cute, guys. I made a mistake and threw it on the floor. And I picked up these little things for my flower pots on my patio. But I actually, the other one is a little different than this one. I thought I got two different ones. I thought I got another different one. Yeah, two different ones, but I actually picked up the same ones. But I got four all together. And the other one, the other two are different than these. But these are super cute at Dollar Tree. Can't beat that for a dollar. And let me show you the other signs that I got. I got this Happy Fall Y'all sign. That little thing is coming up. I'll probably fix that myself. So that's for my patio. And I got this Fall Harvest sign. I really didn't buy that many of these because I already got all this stuff. I just saw this and it's a little different than I think last year, so I decided to pick that up. Okay, I'm not into buying the same things over and over again every year. Be the same stuff. And I got one of these right here to go on my front door in my front doorway. These are super cute. Okay. Yeah, I think I like. Let me see if I can turn that light back on. It has motion. Okay, I got it. It's motion detector. I got these, these, um, I got a bunch of these because I got one with my initial, then I got one with my daughter's and my son initial and my cat. So yeah, so I got that. I'm just showing you two of them because they are all the same, just have different initials on them. These are cute though at Dollar Tree because I actually seen some of these in, I think the home store. I mean, I think this is the style right now. Punk is a stuff, which is signature one and things like that with letters on them. Then I got some flowers for fall. These leaves just to add to one of my um, fall floral arrangement. And I got my daughter's them some of these little roses for the Halloween time they like to put up. I got like four of those, I think. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. Trying to see. Oh, I got me some fingernail polish remover. And that works pretty good because I just used it on my nails. So, yeah, I'm taking my nail polish off. Get ready to do them again. So, excuse my nails. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know this works pretty good, as you can see. Okay? And let's make sure I got everything from Dollar Tree. I think I covered everything from Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot I got this little um, LA Colors gold fingernail polish and i got another silver one like this as well okay because they don't have this in opi so i have to buy from dollar tree and la colors and i just put an opi top coat on it to keep it on then i got some sally hansen fingernail polish i got this color okay and i don't know what color this is but let's see what it says love rocks that's what that is love rocks and then I got the blue one. It's not the blue that I was looking for, but it's similar. Somewhat, not that much. I was looking for this blue. 
but they didn't have it. And this is um, hard bitten, I believe, hard bitten. So yeah, I need to go to Sally's to see if they have this color, this color right here, OPI. But like I said, if you put a OPI top coat over your cheaper fingernail polish, it will still last, okay? It will still stay on, okay? And then I got this OPI color here, which is, I can't even tell what color this is. Guys, I can't see this color. What is this? Isn't she, what? Iconic. Isn't she iconic? I'm so glad I'm not blind that like that. Because, man, you can almost, you can barely see these, um, these names. So, yeah, that's a cute little color right there. It's like a grayish color. I actually bought this color once before. And so I like the way it looks, so I got that again. And then I picked up another black one by OPR. I mean, OPI, I'm about to say, <laughs> I almost said OPR. It's OPI. So I got this one. You can't see the uh, thing on it. Let's see what the color is. It's black onyx. So that's super cute. And that's OPI. Okay. These were, uh, I think this one right here was either $10.99 or either $14.99. Same thing. This one may be $14.99. This one. And then this one may be $10.99. I can't remember. And these right here were not that much. They like two something, I believe, a piece. Two something a piece. And of course, you know, this one right here is only a dollar at Dollar Tree. Okay, just so you guys can know. All right. Now, I think that's it for the Dollar Tree stuff that I want to show you guys. So now, let me show you the purse. Okay, so I went back to JCPenney's. I took the other black purse that was similar to this one by Wayno Collection. I just took the price tag of it because I was walking around with the price tag going all in the store. And thank you. No one say anything to me. Because they know I had just bought chain exchange purses anyway and bought this one. So anyway, I took the other one back because it was a rip in it. And, and I got this in return. This was $75 as well. And I got 30% off of it. And I had another coupon and got some more off of it, like 20% or something. So they went on to honor that even though I used the coupon already. But yeah, this is a cute purse, guys. I like all the different compartments on it, the zippers. This compartment, it even has side compartments on the side, um, the back. Look at this, all these compartments. I love the way they did the little thing on the um, zipper when you open it and stuff. Um, it opens very easily. It has like double, another zipper thing probably right there. And then inside you have, um, let's see, it's very roomy. You know, I got, I'm organized all the way around, guys. I'm just tell you that straight up. Very roomy on the inside. Then it has another compartment right here. Same thing. Very roomy. And then it has a zipper thing right there. So, yeah, this is a really cute purse. Um, it's more it's more thicker than the other. The leather on this one is not as thin as the other. I like the soft leather, the real soft leather, but it, tell, it, it tears really quick. And actually, this is not real leather anyway. And the other one that I got from this collection is not real leather either. It's pleather. But that pleather they use, the imitation leather, was it's real um, soft like I like real leather to be. And that's the reason why I had picked the other one. But I did not see the rip. So when I went back, they didn't have those anymore. I guess a lot of people got them. But they did have this one. And the, the pleather here is a little bit more thicker. And so it'll last and it won't tear as easy. And um, it's pretty. I like it. I like it for everyday purse. And I love the strap. You know, you can, with the double thing on it and stuff. And you can adjust it and things like that. It's really cute. I like this purse. I got my little stuff on it. Like a little bitty kid. But hey, I like stuff like that. So that's why I do it. But anyway, that was $75. And I got a, uh, well, 20% off. No, a 30% off and then a 20% off. Okay. If I wouldn't have had done an exchange, I just would have gotten the... Um, the 30% off and that's it, off of $75, okay? So that was from JCPenney's and then I went to Target, guys, and I was amazed to find these. I mean, they may have them in your town, but I have never seen Band-Aids, bandages that were different skin tone colors, you know, that match everybody's skin tone. And I think that was pretty good. These right here, um, the true color ones, were $2.99 and the band-aid one 
their prices are $3.99 for 20. And there are 20 in here too. So I picked this one up because it's cheaper. And this right here is latex free too. And this fabric. So that's a plus. And the band-aid one was latex free and fabric as well. So I'll probably go and get another pack of these, you know, because it's just better when it matches your skin tone. And you can see the colors back there. Okay. So I got let me see what it looked like. I don't want to open a band-aid up, but because then I'm just, you know, I'm messing them up. But anyway, you get the idea of what they look like. Just like this on the box. Okay. Then I got, I ordered a contour pillow. Actually, this is like a wedge pillow that you lay on for your back at nighttime. You know, and if you like, if you have back problems, problems or sore back or whatever the case is, you can get one of these and it'll actually make your back feel better. And I actually got one of those lumbar pillows as well, which does pretty good too. But this right here actually made my back stop hurting at nighttime. I'm not joking. Okay. I'm not joking. This really works. This really works. So I really would um, encourage anyone who has back problems to invest in one of these. This right here, I think was, I'm trying to think, was it 59 or $60? I think it was 59 or either $60. And of course, if you want a better one, it's going to be higher price. I just wanted to test one out before I invest in a really more expensive one. But this is good enough. I don't even think I would get a more expensive one. This right here really stopped my back from hurting overnight. And, you know, I don't have to use the the, um, the heating thing that I use as much now. Okay? So, yeah. Invest in one of those if you have back problems. All right? Then I got, went to Coach. Not, which I always say went to Coach. I did go to Coach, but not to get this. I went to Coach to get something else. But I got this from Coach. Okay? I ordered this online. Okay? And this is another perfume. And let's see, it is, um, I don't even know the name of this stuff. You don't see no name on this. You know, I, I always forget the name of the perfumes, okay? No names whatsoever. Um, I cannot remember what it is. All I know is smell good. It's a lot, it's not too strong or anything else. So that's what I like. I don't like real strong perfumes and stuff. And they be like smelling all over the place and stuff and making me have allergic reaction. So I like the bottle too, guys. It's really super cute. Even when I use all of this up, I'll keep this bottle because it's so pretty and stuff. But anyway, this um, scent is really nice. I'm trying to find the name of it. I may have to look on my receipt and see what the name of it is. I can't even read this on the bottom of the thing because it's in like clearish blue, pinkish type. But when I find out the name of this, guys, if I find it, when I put this video up, I'll list it below because I do not know. I would definitely have to look it up to see the name of this perfume. And it wasn't that much. I think this perfume was $70. Because another one was more than that. I didn't want to spend the, what the other one was. So I was like, let me get this one. You know, and um, I had smelled this in the store in Macy's. And I liked the smell. So when I saw it, I was like, let me get this right here. And I think I paid either $69 or either $79 or $89 for this perfume. It might have even been, you know what guys, let me just go check this, the receipt and see. Hold on for a second. I am so crazy. I never have my stuff together when I do a video. Man, I should know how much this costs. I should know what scent this is. I never know. I never know. Let's see. It's just telling you how to open it. Clothes perfume. What? What are these people talking about on here? Open. Coach be doing the most, don't they? What is this about? Okay, but anyway, let me go see. Hold on for a minute, guys. Hold on for a second. Okay, guys, I told you I was wrong. Okay, the perfume is called Coach New York for her, for female. So it's Coach New York, I guess. No, that's just the, I don't know. That's not the scent. That's just where it is. I'm going to have to look that up online and tell you guys what the, the scent is. But anyway, it was $75. Okay. I don't know what scent that is. I will have to look that up. But I'll let you guys know, like I said at the bottom, because I thought it would be on this thing right here, and it's not. So um, they just have the Coach New York female on here. Okay, so yeah, I'll just show you guys uh, at the bottom. So when, you know, either in this video, I'll put the name of it, or I'll put it below, probably the name. And then the wedge thing that I have 
let's see that pillow thing it's the multi position no what's the name of this pillow well this is some of the ways you can use it okay you can put that thing behind your back while you're sitting up in a chair while you're laying down in the chair you can put it behind your back while lying in the bed you can also use it um is this the right thing or is this the other one that i have no you know what guys this is the other one that i have this is not the same one let me make sure no it is y'all i am so crazy <laughs> okay because i got two you know what something is wrong with me guys let me take some i never look at my stuff in detail on the back i did not pay attention to this okay i did not pay attention to this because i use it in the bed to lay on okay but you can also use this, which is good, on your chair. Because when I'm sitting at the computer desk, instead of using my lumbar pillow, I can also use this one. Okay? And then, see how they got it up there? I don't never read my instructions and stuff like that. And then you can use it in the bed. Clearly, you can use it in the bed. And I just put my eyes almost similar to like this is right here. I do it the same way. And then you can use it while you're sitting down like that or when you're sitting in a chair. So, yeah, that's good. That on-the-go travel collection, and you can use it at home, okay? It's a good thing I got this because my butt be seeing all types of stuff when I'm on camera. It be wrong and stuff. You having people get the wrong stuff. So, But it's good for your back. It really stops your back from hurting. So invest in one of those if you have back problems as well as the, um, the lumbar pillow. That's pretty good, too. Then, guys, I got one more thing. I'm not going to bring it in here because it's too big, but I bought a um, Bissell power edge lift off steam mop let me tell you about this mop this mop right here the steam mop by Bissell, by Bissell works really really well i mean we use it on our floor in the kitchen in, in the um the foyer little foyer area i guess that's what you call that the hall yeah that's what that is and it really lift a lot of dirt off the floor the floor looks a hundred percent better just to let you guys know so if you have a if you see a steam mop in your store or whatever the case is pick it up it's a good investment this one right here was 99 dollars, and i think that's a good steal i ordered it online if you go in the store and get it it may be a little bit cheaper i don't know for sure yet it may even be a little more i don't know but i ordered mine online it, either it was 99 dollars or either it was 119 dollars. it was one of the two and all you do is add water to it let it heat up you push the little once it heat up you push the little button and start mopping the floor and everything and it's and it actually supposed to sanitize the floor and everything and i'm telling you my floor was 100 percent cleaner using this thing okay so yeah that's a thumbs up for that so if you see one of those in your store pick it up the only thing is that it does not come with extra um things you can so what i do is what i'm going to do is i basically use this once a week right and then i wash this little attached you know this little call off thing that you use that you put over the little part right there and then I just take it off and wash it and then put it back on there. And then the next week I'll use it. Like every Saturday or every Friday I'll use it to steam mop my floor. In between that time we use the other mop that I have to mop the floor. Okay. So that's a good steal right there. And I think that's it guys. It was something else I wanted to talk to you about. But I don't remember what it was. Something else that I bought I wanted to tell. Oh, the power, the purple power stuff. Let me tell you about that real quick. Um... The purple power stuff that you can use on your imitation wood floors. If you made a mistake and put like shiny stuff on your floor to make it shine like I did, and it's actually wax, that wax will build up. Okay, to get that off, you can get this stuff called purple power. And that will take that wax right off your floor. What you do is you spray it on the floor. You let it sit for a couple minutes. And then you can take a little uh, plastic knife or something. Or just a regular um, plastic scrub thing that you clean dishes with. And you can scrub that stuff right off your floor. Or um, you can use that steamer. Now, I don't want to mess up my steamer, the cloth. So I didn't use, do that. What I did is just took the plastic, my girls, I didn't do anything. My girls took the plastic knife and the plastic um, pot scrubber. Once they put the purple power on the floor, they used that. After they sat for a couple minutes, two, three minutes, they used a little scrubber to get the wax on up and it just peeled right up. And that removes all of the wax that's on your floor. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. Let me go get it. So it looks nasty right now because they used it. 
And of course, you know how children are. They're not children like they know they're like teenagers and stuff and young adults. Um, except my son, he's a young teenager, he's only 13. But anyway, um, this is the stuff right here. It's called Purple Power. And you can actually use this to take the build-up wax off of a imitation wood, you know, the vinyl flooring, the laminate or whatever they call it. You can take that off of there. You spray this on your floor, you leave it on there for three minutes, and then you can either mop the stuff or either you can use a plastic um, dishwasher, um, you know, the plaster swirl up thing that you use to get food stuff off your dishes and stuff like that, off your pots. You can use that to scrub that up off your floor. And it comes right up. And this stuff right here only costs like $3 at Walmart. And it's in the automotive section. So get this. Do this on your floor for non-wood floors. Okay? If you put wax stuff on your floor like I did <laughs> by mistake or whatever. And it saves you some money. Okay? Because if I would have had to call somebody out here, it would have been a lot. And then at first, I was trying to use one of the methods that they said online. And it was taking forever. You know, the vinegar and water was taking forever. I was down on the floor peeling up the wax, and that was just taking too forever. Put this on the floor. It takes you about, it took them about, I guess, about an hour to get this the stuff up, okay, about an hour. And it may take you less. It depends on how big your floor is and things like that, okay? But it works. So check this out, okay? Chase two. Let go. Yeah, yeah. This is Shane's Tube, and I'm back again, bringing a brand new haul to all my friends. Been to all types of stores like DT and many, many more. Bringing you all types of deals that only Shay Shay calls sub still. This is Shane's Tube, and I'm back again. This is Shane's Tube, and I'm back. Shane's Tube, and I'm back again. This is Shane's Tube. And I'm back, all right now. This is Shay's too. And I'm back again. This is Shay's too. And I'm back. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Thanks y'all for tuning in. This is Shay's too. Yeah. I'm lit y'all. I'm lit for show. All right now. Yeah, yeah. Shay's too.